G'day mates and welcome back to, uh, fuck, I almost had uh, Deutschland of Akas. Of Aka? Fuck. Someone, like, I was just looking at the comments just before I'm gonna read over them, and, uh, someone told me again how to, reminded me how to actually say it, I think it's Ervaka. And, uh, now I've forgotten again. Well, welcome back. Anyway, so last time we left off, I was thinking about, oh, please tell me, did I actually start building, oh, shit. I haven't actually start, started building them, but I was thinking about it. He thought about it. He thought about it. Um, don't need any of those just yet. Okay, cool. So we are building some resistance boys. Actually, do we want to... Oh, right, no, we didn't put them there because they had advanced slightly. We're building some res uh, some anti-resistance boys to cut down on the massive number of broken factories around here. We'll repair the factories real quick. And then we'll move on to actually having some uh, AA divisions with us. So what I'm thinking is some heavy tank anti-air divisions. They'll still get an armor bonus. They won't be, it won't be as good. Like, if they have any piercing, they'll probably break through it. But it will be good at shooting down the enemy planes. That's the main thing we're going for. Um, I should also probably improve my Gerberge divisions. Gerbergers. Good old Gerbergers. Um, here we go. Calm it, lads. Calm it. Uh, and since we've got the, what's called, specialization mod on. Actually, should we put, like, anti-air? Oh, we don't build any anti-air, do we? Still, I feel like we should have, like, a little bit of anti-air. Just here and there, so... It'll give our guys some air attack. Yeah, let's just give our mountaineers some air attack, so they'll get a nice little bonus. It'll give them some cover. Uh, we'll start producing just a tiny, teeny, weeny bit. Cool. Only need 80, so she'll be right. Ah, uh, god, we need a lot of stuff. Okay, still pumping out fighters to try and buff up the numbers so we can, uh, actually have a bit of a fight around here. I think we'll probably kill these fighters first. We'll just try and weaken their numbers. Uh, but we'll try and kill the enemy close air support with our, uh, it's called anti-air instead. Light tanks, that's obviously all broken. That's, yeah, that's down to here. That's all broken. That's fine. Um, I guess we just gotta hold the line for a little bit. Uh, chill. Relax. Okay, you guys are starting to starve here. How... How likely is it I can fix this? Uh, because control of incoming provinces. Can I boost up your infrastructure, mate? Oh, hang on, it'd be uh, partly Yugoslavia's fault. Okay, oh god, Yugoslavia, why is your infrastructure here so awful? Oh, it's two right there. Oh, that brings the bloody average down so much. Oh, hang on, also the damage. Alright, where is the damage here on the infrastructure? No, 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 where is it? Okay, here we go, these two. Bonk. And a bonk. Cool. That should hopefully fix our uh, food issues in just a moment. Cool, cool, cool. We're also going to drop, uh, drop down some quick forts, which will get built. Uh, they'll get built when the time gets to them. We've got four forts all the way along here. Let's make those five forts here. Cool. Oh, nice. Yugoslavia claim. Oh, then that doesn't actually give them Bulgaria, does it? That just uh, puts a claim on, I think. No, it's, it's Romania that gets like the instant... Capture? I can't quite recall. Um, let's go down and get some uh, rubber and all sorts. We won't we won't shop around for any more because we're about to get some through the focus. Let's just check real quick. No, I think, or is maybe that's a later focus. I just remember there's a there's a focus that like I can't. Is it? Can they just can they not refuse it or do they just never refuse it? I've just ugh, it's weird. Bulgaria ends up puppeted like 90% of the time. Um, if you play uh, with certain random focuses on. Uh, I think we're gonna take a quick chill pill. We're gonna sit back. I'll, t I'll come back if anything important happens. Are we actually... I'm not really sure if I wanna go down medium lines. I think we wanna go down light and heavies, don't we? So yeah, I'll chill back and uh, I'll be back once we're ready to uh, begin an offensive on this line or anything interesting happens. I wanna put up some AA divisions here. I wanna obviously upgrade our uh, Mountaineers and AA. I wanna fill the gaps with the guys who don't have troops. Like, uh, I wanna put some more light armor into here. Put some more troops in between these lot. And uh, yeah, we'll be ready to push through into Italy. I think we probably could push now, but I'd rather really boost us. Yeah, they... Like, we'd need a few encirclements to get their, uh, get their bloody division numbers low enough to try it. Alright, back in a moment. Ah, here we are. So we have the choice between getting Goring in charge. Um... I don't know how you're still around, but you need to stop doing this. Or we get him in charge. It's just... Ah, it's so much worse of a choice, though, because it reduces their military... Like, it gives us civic construction. Yeah, but this is just better. I, yeah. Let's get Goring in charge, making our steel. And it also just gives us 30 steel, which I'm never going to say no to. Why do we... Ugh, our chromium walls keep fluctuating. Damn it, turkey! Oh, hello, we can change the flag? What? Huzzah! What? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, uh... <laughs> that, uh... 
Okay. Alrighty then. Um, why, why, why has this option even appeared? Okay, sure. I'm just going to keep going about. Just changing flags and shit. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot about the whole south bit, but now we're pushing in and circling them. There's also a little invasion here, but we'll kill them too. Hello, allies. Yes, yes, you're going to suffer for your crimes. Come on now. Come on now. Albania was a peaceful country before you did what you did. How dare you? What? Fucking what? The Americans are sending me a load of gear? I'm not going to say no. Oh, oh I actually probably should because of all my convoys missing, but... Why in the fuck are you supporting me? I would love for you to join me. Oh, oh, oh right, I'm not fascist. I keep forgetting that. Sorry, Kaiser Wilhelm, right, yeah, sorry about that. But, uh, sorry, I've totally forgot, mate. My apologies. What the fuck just happened? What? Yugoslavia bomber competition. Um, uh, I shall assist? Hang on. Our newest model is poised to win. Right, perfect. Huzzah! Yonkers. Great. Indians People Republic. What? Did you just join me? I beg your pardon, what? Aren't you communist? You've joined the middling powers! What the fuck, dude? I... Oh, no, I was gonna say thank you, but you're fucked. You are fucked. Like, even Gandhi's on the other side. Dude, you're just, you're just fucked, aren't you? Oh, I feel bad for you, son. Oh, you got none of them problems, as Gandhi's gonna be one. Oh. oh, man, stab in the back. Ching China has declared war on Japan, and Yunnan has joined the People's Front. So there's a People's Front on one side, Ching China on the other side, and we're stuck in the middle with Hirohito. This is, uh... I don't foresee this going well for- oh, no, never mind, Ching China- oh, are they- are they gonna win? If- if they can hold out, like, just a little bit against Japan... Oh, they're actually not doing too bad. Oh, this might go fucking terribly for Japan. Oh my god, they're actually doing really well. I- I wanna see how this turns out, holy shit. Alright, we've started to work on the enemy's air support, and I'm going to start deploying my little idea of, uh, what do you call it? Of, uh, anti- sorry, anti-air divisions, that's what I'm looking for. That's the word I'm looking for. They call these boys the, um... Oh, of course. Look to the skies. Perfect. Gonna give these guys some basic anti-air, I'm gonna chuck them some heavy self-propelled anti-air as well. Two of them, so that gives them an air attack of 50. Alright, alright, respectable. And uh, they also still roll around with an armor of uh, 16, which is low, uh, but it's still armor. And yeah, they're not too bad. Alright, we're going to start dropping out some of these guys. We'll see how they do. What do we need more of? We need... Oh, just the towed artillery and anti-air. Alright, well, shit. Oh, hang on. How many can we... Holy shit, hang on a second. Uh, so, oh wow, you only need 60, so it's 8 per division. You're bloody kidding me, that's so cheap. Alright, we'll, we'll put up four, because we can build enough of that. And uh, you guys can go join up under him, sure. Oh wait, no, hang on, that's, that's the guy on the line. Under, uh... <laughs> fuck, actually. I guess a few of you are going to go under Rommel? I don't know, we'll see. Um, we're also going to kick into overdrive, into total, mo uh, total mobilization, and then immediately get women in the workforce, which completely removes the negative of total mobilization. It's literally the most overpowered thing this decision mods does. A uh, decision mod lets you do rather. Oh wow! Well, look, the Indians are gone. That was a surprise to no one. However, Ching China still around. Uh, Empire of Japan's having some trouble. This is good to see. Oh yeah, we also upgraded a few of the equipments. We've now got super equipment, which is just a hundred percent reliability support equipment. So I presume it'll never break. Do we even need a lot of it then? I guess we just need for new divisions. Because if it if it's a hundred percent, it'll never break, will it? I don't know, maybe it'll, maybe we lost in combat though, who knows, we'll, we'll find out. Oh shit, Finland and Soviet Union are going at it. Oh, Finland wants me... Yeah, dude, look, I am really sorry. I did build a border wall. Oh, they ate you guys at some point, I was not watching. I did build a border wall along now, some of their border, but uh, too many fronts. Too many fronts, thank you very much. I'll come back to it later. I'm sure I'll, uh, I'll, I'll liberate you when the time comes. It'll, uh, it'll be okay. It's a nice whistle, by the way. Wow, that went fast. They took Finland, but now they're just sending me a bunch of volunteers. 
Thanks, Joe. You're the best. Let's just see this here. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. We're starting to shoot the enemies down. Wait, are we? We're not even... Hang a second. Our air combat guys aren't even in the bloody combat. How are you shooting them down? Oh, it was probably the... Uh, hang on, right. Here we go. Let's try this instead. All right, let's just test out our anti-air boys real quick. We're going to send them into the combat and see what they do. Do, do, do. Are you actually... You are in the combat, aren't you? Cool. Oh, you've reduced the spiority. Good. No more spiority for the enemy. And 15 down, shot down, 21 shot down. For two divisions in just a few hours of an attack, not too bad. I think we can seriously fuck up the enemy uh, spiority, given time. Currently, their losses are like 10 to 1, which is amazing, but uh, still, we ain't got the biggest air force here. We're, st we're working on building that up, but uh, we're still just lagging a little bit behind. What? Hang on a second. No! No, Kaiser Wilhelm! At the age of 82, our Kaiser Wilhelm II died a sudden death. <laughs> Much to the dismay of his family, our government, and our people. A state funeral will be held, where our new Kaiser Wilhelm III will make his first public address with his new title. Well, I guess it's not really all that bad, is it? Because I, I guess we got to see both of them. I'll remember you, good old Kaiser Will. Oh, God, he's just got a big pointy fucking nose. What are you going to do? Stab the Italians with that, are you? I'll beat you to that punch, don't worry. Oh, at least Venezuela is here to com comfort us in our time of need. Oh, I miss his mustache already. Oh, man. Didn't go so well for China. Oh, I, thought we were in Ch I thought we were in map mode for a moment looking at this. Aw. Rip, Japan did good. I'm sorry, what? People need to stop joining the middling powers without telling me. Although, somehow I'm remarkably more okay with Denmark joining my bloody faction than, uh, I at all was with India. Um, sure, I guess I'll just send some of the guys to cover you. Hope you, hope you like the complimentary snacks. Uh, bedtime before noon. Wait, before noon? So, what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> Bed, bedtime's eight, uh, you know. Look, anyway, that just means they can't get some boats around into here. I don't actually need to cover the uh, ports there, but I just decided I'll cover the ports everywhere anyway. We need 31 divisions? Wasn't well, that perfect? I'm just going to pop out a few more fry cooks anyway. Give me like uh, nine more should do me. Yeah, it just needs infantry equipment. Who really cares? They're just fry cooks. Who's going to fight a fry cook? These like full divisions I'm using because I have so much manpower. And they're just sort of chilling around looking after things. Ah, rip Ching China. You're sending me things again. Oh, I love the idea of 4,000 rifles a month, but boy, do I not want to have to pay, like, that many, co I don't have that convoys, you just, you enjoy you, you enjoy having that many rifles, my good man. Alright, we're gonna hazard a little bit of an attack here, just a little one, just a teeny tiny attacky. Alright, uh, good, good, everyone go. The main reason for the attacky, uh, is that we're gonna deploy our support aircraft as well, go. That should help out somewhat. Oh, still, they've still got air security. God, this is the place for it. I should build some anti-air here. Hang on, let me just... Oh, I'm already doing that. Hang on, let me just make do that faster. I'm good. God, we have so many bloody uh, building... Let's go, bloody uh, city factories. But hopefully the idea is that we're going to be shooting down some of their planes as we attack. Um, just as a little bonus to actually even trying to... Oh, why are we on three speed? Jesus. Just as a little bonus to even trying to, uh, to attack. Hopefully kill some planes, maybe make some ground, who knows. Let's see. I think we might want to take this. Everyone refocus on just this position. Come on. Let's try it. We got any dare to die? Or was it look to the skies? That's, that was their name. Yeah, they're, they're doing alright. They're shooting down some planes. They're not doing too badly. Oh, wait, hang on. Is that it? No, Mexico. Right. Cynicus to Mexico. I'm sorry, the communists love me, the fascists love me, the democrats love me, what's not to love about a monarch? Oh god, his nose apparently, Jesus. Ugh. I just wish Kaiser Wilhelm was back as a zombie. Just hope if it... Look, I'd have him back as a zombie as long as zombie Kaiser Wilhelm still had the facial hair. Then I'd be fine with it. But man, oh man. Hey, commie China's gone. Rip. Oh, the CC click. The CC click. Wait, hang on, was China and the CC click and... Oh, God. Oh, God. Hang on, are these... Okay, these are the same China. This is a different China. Don't know who you are. And this is CC click. Whew. That's disgusting. That is a revolting sight. 
And you're apparently, again, a puppet, aren't you? Yeah, good one there. Good one there. You really, you really broke free. Well, good job. It's not like I've ever, you know, done it easily. It's like, God, maybe you should try, like, being like me. Let's get the, uh, super upgraded, uh, submarine boys. Sure. Okay. We're actually pushing. We're, we're gaining a little bit of ground. We're probably not doing that great, but we are shooting down their planes. Um, I wonder if they're showing, if, like, enemy missions. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. All right. There we go. Whew. All right. They're losing a... There's in a couple. Are we dealing more damage than they are? Oh, we're dealing no damage. Oof. Probably because we're not actually getting, like, a chance to fight. There's not enough. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. The superiority's turned in my favor. Superiority in my tent, in my, uh, bloody favor is a huge thing. That is probably going to let me push through the mountains. God, the only problem is gear. Eh, not doing too bad on gear. Actually, we're doing pretty great. Um... Manpower is a non-issue. I'm on only, like, extensive conscription. I've got 8 million, so 7 million, and I've got a bunch of cores that I can grab very soon. Uh, can you guys just stop moving around? Like, I'm not really afraid of you. I'm just, just send some randos to go deal with you. Here, everyone stop attacking, gather up, gather your things, chill out. Hey, fuck it. You know what? It's the perfect time for a first VNR. I have mind, apparently. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. I was gonna be nice. Promise. Oh, Jesus. Should I go for two-side economics and just ruin my political power for a while? Oh, sorry, my, my stability for a while. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I guess. I've also decided to sacrifice an extra unit in each of the uh, Look to the Skies divisions for even more air attack. Because uh, it makes them also armors them up a little bit more too. They're still effective units. They're still very quite strong, actually. In fact, hang on. They actually have a higher soft attack. That's not too bad. And honestly, they still require a teeny tiny amount of, uh, what, 32? Whereas these ones only require 20. And this has got four divisions of armor versus this having one of heavy tanks, of uh, tank destroyers, right? It's, I mean, that's not, that's not a bad trade-off. I think, I think we can do something with this. I think we can work with this. I think we can kill a lot of aircraft with this, which will help cut down those uh, enemy numbers. Hang on a second, what? The Novus Imperium Romanum? Hang on a second, please tell me exactly what I think happened just happened. Also, Hungary is demanding South Slovakia. Wait. Hang on. Hang on a second. Hang on a second! I've just- I, my brain just melted when I was reading this because I realized what I was reading. Oh no, they already have it. Okay, right. That, that's why it makes- right. Following up on their vows to redress the Treaty of Trinidad, Hungary has demanded the return of Southern Slovakia from Hungary. The Hungarians have not yet responded, but the threat of war in the Hungarian rhetoric is all too clear. <laughs> Projection may well lead to a new war in the region. Let's hope they work it out peacefully. Ah, oh, that has to be my fucking favorite piece of uh, newspaper I've ever seen in this game. Ah, oh, that's fucking priceless. Oh, man. Oh, I don't even remember how they got Slovakia in the first place. Czechoslovakia returns Southern Slovakia. What? <laughs> Someone's very confused. Oh, hey! Are you in a faction with- Oh, shit, with Bulgaria? Who haven't joined the war yet, but still, at least when we kill you now, you'll give up immediately. Good. Excellent. Good job, Italy. You switched sides, but somehow still didn't switch sides. Congratulations. Oh, Hungary's in. Oh, God, Hungary's joined. Hang on. We've got some problems here. Guys, chill with the attacks. Hungary's joined them. And Bulgaria's in. Let's start murderizing real quick. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Thankfully, we have a fast reaction force. Oh, God, I don't... Hang on. No, no. Better idea. A fast reaction force on standby for moments like this. That was all quite inconvenient, I must say. Quite... Oh, God, the tumor is growing. We must exercise it. Uh, meanwhile, Bulgaria is going to be just a fucking pushover because there's no one in Bulgaria. And just like that, they start to collapse back in on themselves. Jesus bloody Christ, this is a messy war to say the least, but oh well, at least we're going to wrap it up soon. Well, Hungary's gone. I had to have a dedicated force take them out. I just sent the fucking scraps against Bulgaria. Although, why have they actually capitulated yet? What are they still holding that... Oh, this thing. Plodiv. A town that even sells. <laughs> That's like the... You know, when you name your town Plodiv, it's just like, oh yes, I'm the Eeyore of towns. No, oh, I guess I'll do it. Oh, what the fuck? Romania has returned, as has Czechoslovakia. 
begins this slaughter. No, it's actually Yugoslavia is taking it. Hey, Yugoslavia, can I have it? Oh, what? No, apparently I own most of this. Yugoslavia, that's uh, that's evil speak that you're saying. What the fuck did I just read? What? Where are you? Oh my god, what's happening? What? Okay. Roommate? So, Italy's declared war on Greece. Who has joined our faction? Can people just stop joining my, like, faction randomly? But... Thanks, I guess. I like how the guys I thought were going to be my allies have all betrayed me. And yet the guys who I were not expecting, aka Yugoslavia, Denmark, and Greece, are just sort of like, hey, let's play together. We have certainly have, okay, democratic, right? Not aligned, not aligned. Uh, I'm not aligned as well, right? We've got a, uh, oh, we had a communist. We just need someone to go fascist. I mean, Denmark is going suspiciously communist, which I don't like. Get, get out of here. But, uh... Yeah, no, we've got a we've got a pretty nice mix. Christ, we've ticked our diversity quota. I like how I left the tanks in charge of defending the line for some fucking reason. It's like, Rommel, you know those things not built for defense? How about you defend with them? Enjoy, Rommel. Have a good one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the enemies are looking weak. This is go time. Primo, I do believe. Yep, they'd reassigned all their troops. Looks like they're now currently reassigning, thanks to my massive radar superiority I got. Okay, maybe we're not doing too... Oh, we're not, we're not doing too bad. Okay, we got a bit of a push going on. Shanzi's gone. Get out of here. Advanced computing, you know what that means. It means we get that bloody encryption so we can still see our enemies, because, like, my massive pet hate is that uh, that even occurs in Hoi 4. It's really bloody annoying, actually. Quite miffing. Miffing spiffing. Um, what else do we need? Oh, my God, we've got fighters for days. I didn't even realize how many bloody fighters we had. Send them over, and uh, you know what? Let's just get a big old force of them. 800, and cool, right. Take these a lot. Good. And you lot can all go over and uh, fuck up Italy. Good shit. The US stands against fascism. What? I'm not... No, 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 no. You, you were giving me guns. You're giving me guns, please. No, no, no. No, no, Bruce. Please, Franklin. Franklin, please. Please, Franklin. Think about what you're saying here. Think about what you're doing here, Franklin. Think about it, because I fuck you. Gonna fucking end this war by invading the UK, but now we're gonna invade the US too. Thank you, Franklin. Thank you very much. Well, thankfully enough, the offensive is going absolutely superb. I've just realized, oh shit, I've actually lost my most of my troops to Italy. That's a bit unfortunate, but still, they've lost more than me. Um, actually, they lost all three and 1.4 million. Cool, all right. Not too bad. Hello, hello, hello. We've formed up this line. Should I actually keep assaulting? Yeah, I think I want to break through here. I don't want to, like, chill here, so. Fuck off, Philippines. I also don't want to give the Americans a chance to reinforce their defensive lines. So keep going. Uh, I don't know where Rommel is, but he should definitely keep going if he is here. Excellent, he is. Good. Uh, the rest of you guys, just, I don't know, deal with Italy, I guess. It's, 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 you guys have the easy job. Relax. You guys don't have to break through into France. Oh, feared opponent, France. Oh my, oh my god, we are... <laughs> in saying that, Rommel is making it look fucking easy. To be fair, our tanks at this point are ridiculous. Look at the tank bonus we have, right? Um, country bonus plus 30. So we have, uh, sh oh shit, the armor's being pierced. Um, oh, I guess they are light tanks. Oh, they're also fighting tanks, which makes a lot more sense. Um, we have Rommel giving us 15%. We have Blitzkrieg Theorist giving us more speed. Somewhere else, oh yeah, here we go. Uh, it's called Heinz giving us an extra bonus. Rommel himself actually is commanding them and is also a panzer leader, a panzer expert. It's just ridiculous. It is insane how much bonuses they're, uh, they're getting, like, just through the roof. Mwah. It's, it's beautiful. I'm loving it. Oh, holy shit, that, that squiggly line I drew actually fucking worked. Alright, well quick, go for Palomero before anyone can stop you. This, this crossing is the annoying thing that Italy has, where they can sort of hold you forever. Italy's actually a really, really defensible country in Hoi 4. It's very, very, it's also easy to encircle, but it's easy to, uh, defend. Ever so easy. Um... Motherfucker, they had with someone on the bloody line. God damn it. Honestly, the best way is to let them come across it, and then attack them back, and then attack across whilst they have no org. Or you can just have amazing divisions like me, and you'll probably be fine. Uh, yeah, let's go that way. Cool. We have even more manpower now. This is ridiculous. This is an incredibly strong. Go! Win me the game, please. Go, Paris. Go. Should I begin? You know what? You guys, begin an attack. Are you actually going to... Did the Soviet volunteers do this? Nice. All right, sure. Um, oh my god, look at these disgusting lines we're drawing in France. It looks like a penis. Oh, that's a penis. Um, here we go down here. Beautiful. 
Alright, you go to here. Perfect. You can just stop by here. I tell you, what, you can go for breast. Sure. You know what they say. So it's, it's what you got to learn. It's what you go. What you got to go for first. All right. It's an escalation of things. Right. You can't go straight for Paris. You can't go straight for the uh, the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> there we go. That was. Oh, I'm happy myself. Just got. I'm. I'm pleased with myself for that one. Christ. Hey, there goes Italy. All right. Let's grab our little bits and pieces that we want, and uh, hopefully none of my allies actually get anything. I like the fact that you think you're still around. Maybe I should give them like Bulgaria and let them exist. Sure, we're gonna give him, we're gonna give Italy Bulgaria, and I I don't know. Let them consider that they should maybe exist. Maybe if Yugoslavia doesn't grab it first. Oh no, end turn. No, oh, Yugoslavia is definitely going to grab it. All right, well, okay, end turn, right? End turn, good, right? I want these. I'm not fucking playing around. Oh, hang on. Oh, I know what we could do. Yeah, sure. Uh, the colonies, which we don't want. We're going to hand over... We'll make India our colony, of course. Right. Uh, can we... Yeah, th there we go. Gives, gives it over to British India. Lovely. Because you know what? They deserve these... Oh, actually, those have got good shit in them. Hang on. Hang on. You have the bad things, like Ethiopia. Which I don't particularly care about. Cool. Alright, cool. Enjoy. You now exist here. Um, right, in turn. And then I am going to take all of this, because this has oil and shit. And I want it. Good. Perfect. Okay, uh, and what have I got left? Satellite Austria. What the fuck? Wait, what? Okay, you can just sort of satellite things. What's your state left? Dodakasin? I, I don't I don't know where that is. Where is this state? Dodkansen. Right, you know what? I'll, I'll find it when I... Hang on real quick. Dodkansen. Oh, oh, it's this place! Hey, Triumph in France. Give me a second. Okay, beautiful. So... Here we go. Let's scroll back out real quick. They'll take that real quick, but who cares? Oh, look, India. Um, our victory in France is nearly complete. The French government has asked for an armistice. Now, our diplomats have prepared terms they're willing to agree with. Should we establish Bourbon France? Hiccups, thanks. Bourbon France? No. Or should we... Germany will conquer all? Yes. Now, actually, here's the question. How much has Free France got of a navy? Ooh, but if I establish Bourbon France... You know, I'm going to do it real quick. Oh, it's Bourbon as well. It's not Vichy. Fuck, it took me a moment. I even read it and I didn't realize. Bourbon France. Fuck yeah. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to establish Bourbon France. And the reason why I'll do that is I think that gives us the mission where we can kill France and take their navy. Which sounds like fun. Um, that is to say Bourbon France. Which, yeah, they're like 68 navy. Which reduces... Wait, what the fuck? Why did that all go with... Wait, did it all go with them because it's not aligned? Did like... Oh my fucking, what just occurred? <laughs> what? So Free France now exists in like the south of Africa and Asia only. Okay. I'm confused, but aroused. I like this. Now let's look at the missions. Um, oh, you've got the Rax Commissariats, that's right. Uh, operations, that's right. Nope, that's not the one. There's some special thing that I recall... They just, or maybe, is it only fascist Germany that can do it? Where, like, you can attack Bourbon France to, in time to steal their navy or something? Or was that just never put in the game? I can't, I've never actually seen it. I, I saw them describing it in, uh, what do you call it? In, like, the dev diaries. Wait, hang on, this would make Poland fascist. What? What? Get out of here. No, wait, no, put them as a leader for the fascist. Would it actually make them fascist? I don't know. Either way, we're not actually going to puppet these people. Get out of here. Um, okay, we're not doing too bad. Tell you what, I think that's where we'll leave it for today. This has been a pretty good session. We're going to armor up our, our uh, front against the uh, British invasions. Uh, we're going to eventually conquer Bourbon France back into our empire via the whole puppet absorption thing. And I don't know what will happen. I don't know what happens when you absorb someone who's in a civil war. That's a good question. We'll keep getting our cores. We'll uh, obviously secure Italy and uh, kick the Allies completely out of Africa and the Mediterranean. But I think really we're just going to go straight for the UK and then jump straight onto the US and we'll do our final episode of, as a big old war in the US and that'll uh, win us the day. It's actually been a really fun game. And uh, I've been having some quite good fun experimenting with all the different types of uh, planes, uh, sorry, all the different types of uh, divisions that I'm building. Anyway, till next time everyone, farewell. Farewell.